Surprise! We have an airship now. We'll go back to Hylix. Previously, we went underground for a little while. Went through a graveyard, then a tomb, and then now Zack 3 and we got an airship. We could go everywhere now. Also, we gained the ultimate magic. The Legend of Melting. I, I like the Legend of Melting respiration of nature myself. Yeah, this house. What the heck is uh, going on here? Why is everybody ready for music? One to four to play notes. And change the style, if you have any. Ben Maze could play. But why are we doing? Bon Garma's into it. Yeah, you played that theremin. Sam's Nosa happens to be on lyrics, and she's not saying anything. There we go. Sounds like Hylix music. Yeah, the bourgeoisies and the seas. Play it. Hey, how'd you like the music? Oh, oh, you're a bug. Never mind. You're also a bug. Bugs are lame. They're not allowed here. Everybody's moshing at the bottom for some reason. It's embracing his jam, yo. Yeah, she could soak. And rescue people. Yeah, that's her name, actually. Microcosm Text. We're gonna have to work on that name. Product Concavity! Everybody's saying random words here. Oh, that's his destroying jam. That's, that's the music he plays when he's ready to destroy something. Like that. Now we learn dissect. Is there anything else around here? Yeah, they're just gonna be random text here. Even if you talk to one person, they'll randomize. Hey, I didn't tell you to stop playing the theremin. Play that theremin. Now this is Hylix. Well, that was Music Island. I hope you like theremin noises, because th th that's now our soundtrack. So, where else can we go around here? We could go to this thing. The theremin is still going. <laughs> the theremin's still going. Hot dogs! Color me intrigued! We could buy hot dogs, but not a starship key. Dude, hit me up with some hot dog. They were a lifesaver when we had one last time. And these weird wiggly towers, they will summon the airship at one of these spots right here. Notice there's none over here on uh, Yek Island. So your airship ends up coming over here instead. But the rest of them have one. This giant ominous tower is definitely some kind of like near end boss situation. So let's try here. Hey, there's a bug in our way. Taken care of. And a juice pack. And a TV. Illusion form. I haven't really used illusion form. Oh, we could change your appearance. Let's try it. I expected like alternate costumes or something. This is just like random characters. Wait, and decast this. We don't need this. Well, now we're more things. We're a crystal and some slime and brains. That is small. Maybe you could fix this for us. No, now you just turned yourself into a TV, man. 
Angorma, help us out here. And now we're cat. Everybody's cat, except for fish. Meow? Yeah, we'll buy some horse food. I bet they aren't. I bet they aren't, except for fertilizer. Oh good, some of us changed back to normal. Yeah, everybody's back to normal now. So, uh, illusion form is a little janky. I'm gonna stop in at Wayne's house one final time. We're gonna take uh, one final bath. Because we picked up Hongorma and he has ancient odor. Cat has many kittens. And that'll get our uh, health and will back up, because we have the Legend of Melting, and it's a very expensive spell. Legend of Melting costs 200. You basically need the Paper Cups if you want to use the Legend of Melting. Speaking of which, we have one of those left. You have to find a way to use it. Horace, get back here, we have food for you. Yes, this is food. And we acquire a horse. Yes, horse's weapon. Horse is a shield type weapon. Increases chance of preemptive attacks and increases mightiness. You know what? He's kind of hurting. Let, let me see what Pongorma's doing. He has an artificial bicep. He is the knight, so wouldn't he use the artificial bicep better than the healer or? I the, the horse, I mean. Yeah, the horses would be better off with him. He could joyous people in the face while he's riding a horse. And Dedismon could make use of his artificial bicep. We could go back and buy berry shields for lots of flesh, but if you know what you're doing, you don't really need the flesh. There's also chrome bowlers that'll blind people, but... The hats I have on now are pretty good. Pretty sure we've seen everything. Hot Dog Island, Music Island, Horse Food Island. Time to go to this island. This is the Tower of the Claw Man. It's a very big tower. I'm not quite sure why we need to be here. I just need to, you know, need a Claw Man for some reason. We have to pardon some sounds, like that uh, theremin thing going on earlier. Biscuit inside mandible is so wise. Yeah, we're the foreman. Somehow we have to meet with a claw man. Also, the final water cooler is right here. So the most will you could ever have is 250. Unless, of course, you're cheesing it with, like, weapons or parasite thing, the parasite crystal, that, stuff like that. Yeah, he's indeed a claw man. I'm totally liquefying it, dude. Well, we need to ask him about his texturizing. Uh, science? It looks like you're doing science here. Science singing! The password. Let's vent wonderfully. Oh, he did not like that. Here's the Claw Man. And there goes the Claw Man. Milting! Oh, he survived. I expected him to die from melting. Someone else has to melt him now. Uh, that is one, you're too slow. Samsnosa. This guy is in dire need of melting. He has a chrome flame. He can confuse people. That's bad. Luckily, we can't Legend of Melting ourselves, but this is where Mystic Meat comes into play. So he has status effects, if you let him use them, and not immediately melt him with like a hundred Legend of Meltings. We didn't even need to melt him a second time. He's a deceased crab now, huzzah! Wow, that was a lot of money. Well, we're the Claw Man now. 
and he's crazy. So what was he guarding? We couldn't go over here unless we talked to the claw man first. What could he have been doing in here? Ah, machines! Looks like they have some kind of like fish creature in them. What are you doing with these? What does it do? I mean, clearly I know what it does, but I I'm testing you. Clean this up. Come again? Monetization potential? What, what do you mean by that? Are you talking crazy? I might as well do things until something happens. Hey, it's money! A whole lot of money! They're turning things into money here! Oh, that's gonna wreck the economy. I'm gonna have to take this so it doesn't get into the economy. You, you're also money. That one owed me five bucks. Now he's 250,000 of them. Yep, thanks for the money. Uh, I'll make sure the claw man knows about your great money machine. Sacrificing living things for the purpose of money. We got so much money now. 770,000 bucks. We're gonna retire after all this. Might as well stop in back at the house. We, we could just buy whatever we want. We could buy like a billion dynamite if we wanted to. But we do have to save about a hundred grand because we're going to get ourselves a spaceship. Because you know, if you're given an airship and an RPG, it means that you're going to have to fight a final boss sooner or later. And that's becoming a lot more sooner than later. So I don't really need to buy anything in town. I, we could buy more hot dogs if we need them. We got plenty of warm burritos. We got at least one dynamite left. You can intrigue me on a few more of these hot dogs. Like, all of them. And also that ship key. Yeah, give us that too. We'll distribute the rest of the earnings when the band falls apart and they want to negotiate. Also, there's some cone cultists here. I thought I killed all you guys. Well, I solved that problem, didn't I? One final mead. If you wanted to go back and use mead anyway, but we're going to the moon. Hey, hey, we're there already. Cool. That was quick. Welcome to the moon. There's bugs on the moon. I heard there was water on the moon too. They found water. In like a crater or something? On the light side of the moon? Intriguing. But did they see all of this? Because it was easy to miss, I'm sure. So, backstory of this place. Moon Lord Gibby is a big poopy jerk. And he destroyed the moon and set up his own personal castle here. So he could rule over the entire planet and, uh, I don't know, do bad guy things. Oh, really? You and who's Moon Army? Huh? We're too powerful for you. There's no levels in this game. We have all the mightiness. You too. Receive mightiness. Thank you. You were so kind in receiving my mightiness. And there's a Simmery Axe here, too. It's gonna bring his will down a little bit, but it does do Electrobiology... By a lot of the gold damage, it makes you confused. Like my English god. Fork is a little bit more powerful than the duck blade, but I do like the chance of lowering mightiness. So Dennis Moln is quite mighty now. He's actualizing slowly above theories. Pangorma is just a little bit higher than him. Zisty Vacuum! Actualize your lord! So no say anything new today? Oh wait, I went to get dressed. It's on zesty vacuum kicks today. Even Wayne is feeling zesty. I mean, after he murdered all of those robots, I can't be surprised as to why. 
Another juice pack if we need it. It's like this game wants us to cast a lot of melting. But we're just cutting through Gibby's forces. Ooh, Super Ultimate TV. Ah, crap. I hate when that happens. They'll pardon a theory once Gibby dies. Out of our way, please. Thank you. Everyone must die in the name of freedom, or whatever Wayne is fighting for. I'm not even quite sure. He just wants to kill Gibby. Are we the baddies? No, Gibby is quite a baddie, too. He destroyed the moon. No good guy destroys the moon. There goes Clawman again. We just killed him a second time. That was Clawman Jr. Oh no, Dracula! He's been deaded! Well, I mean, he technically can't die, but... This is the final crystal in the game. If you go back to the afterlife for whatever reason, you can use this crystal to get back. Gibby, this is ridiculous. This entire game is ridiculous. Stop ripping off Final Fantasy 3. And I mean the Japanese one, not the English one. Even his final boss rant was crazy. Welcome to Gibby. He also has this statue and this statue. This one will heal. This one will cause status effects. But we're gonna put up some mystic meat. But other than that, it's melting time for Mr. Gibby. That a blade of hollow pleather will not save you from our gestures. The most powerful the planet has to offer. It is gonna melt you till you can't see straight. And Gibby has a few attacks of his own. He could leech. He could double attack. He can summon gremlins at you and make you confused. He has ancient odors. Oh wait, that was his statue. He was over a gas mine. He's still alive though. That statue's gotta go. I'm sorry, that statue is just too awesome. We're gonna have to melt it. With our snap powers. Attack all you want! Bring your gremlins, we don't care. You're getting melted by Dennis Mong. Wow, you survived that. I'm impressed. We're gonna have to go with an old-fashioned favorite, Space Shurikens. Gibby's pretty durable. Even the ultimate spell does not make this easy. And when he's low on health, he casts the Cosmic Procession. Halves everyone's current health and inflicts status effects if you give him a chance to. I, I think we're gonna have to whip out the hot dogs and the juice packs. Gibby is being a final boss and he's really useful at it too. And throw dynamite! We saved this dynamite just for him. Hot dog! We love hot dogs! And explosions! And with a puff of dynamite, Gibby is no more. Oh, wow, experience points! And hot dogs! Everyone's level 63 now! By dynamite! The most powerful of gestures! You two, um, know each other? He's a load-bearing final boss! I don't want to feel like domiciles. Well, the moon is exploding. We need to get out of here. Gibby exploded. We don't know how it happened. Uh, Dragilly, you might want to have to get out of here. I don't even know what that word means. And the moon is, um, dead. We got thrown off of it. 
No, we're gonna die in the vacuum of space now. It's okay, we'll end up in the afterlife. Everything will be fine. I mean, we're in a vacuum. There should be a lot of pain going on here right now. Yeah, even the ending is random and weird. This island looks familiar. Oh, uh, um, this was Lonely Island, you know, where we got the paper cup for pushing the button. Uh, we kind of accidentally the whole thing. Also, we could go to, like, any dock and summon our boat and go places. But there's nothing to do in the game anymore. The only thing I need to do is pull this very secret switch. And that's it. This has been Hylix. It's a very strange game that ended in a very strange way. And now it's time for the sequel. Obviously, that's the next video. Yeah, there's a sequel to this game. It makes a lot more sense. And that's coming up next. I've been Armored Chocobo. And this has been Hylix. Actualized Potential!